Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my channel and subject for today is web serial. Well now, not that you don't know how to build something like this. If you've been following this channel for a long time, you probably know how to uh, assemble web serial yourself. But that library is already present out there. So if you don't intend to build something special and if only thing that you actually need is to establish serial communication between a web page and your microcontroller, it's probably much better to use web serial library instead of trying to build it yourself. And if you have not already, please create another project in your uh, favorite IDE. And first thing that we are going to do, we have to install a few libraries. So I'm going to open my platform IO Home. I'm going to click on uh, libraries. And first library that we are going to uh, look for, it's async TCP. It's this one, just async TCP. Add to project, select your project name. Let's see, we have this library on our list. Now, go again to libraries and check for web serial. This one. Yeah, that's the one. Add to project. Select your project name again. Okay, we have web serial now and we need one more library. And that is ESP async web server. That's this one. Let me check. It should be yeah, version 3.1, that's the one. I'm going to add this one to my project. Simple test, it's project name. But you can name it any way you like. All right, now we have all of three necessary libraries. Save it, go to main CPP, and now we are going to do including. First, we are going to include not this, not this one. Wi-Fi.h. So for this episode, I'm going to use uh, ESP32 microcontroller, but you can use ESP8266, Arduino, whatever you like. Now, include async TCP. Include ESP async web server include web web serial dot h and I want one more include ESP mdns.h because with this kind of projects it's uh, nice to have uh, mdns and now we need uh, to create uh, object async web server, call it server on port 80 and we need to create constant char pointer SSID and another constant char pointer password and of course in here you have to provide your credentials uh, later on I'm going to do that but I'm not going to show you my credentials okay so next thing that we are going to do we have to create one function it's of type void this is callback function received message this function needs two arguments u int 8 underscore t this is pointer data and we need size t len this function is going to deal uh, with uh, messages that we are going to receive through our web page so first we are going to create string message and we are going to assign value of empty string now 
for int i equals zero, i less than len, i plus plus. Or I don't want to use squirrely brackets. It's much better like this. Message is going to be meaning I'm going to append character from chair and data with index of i. All right. So I hope that uh, you understand that uh, we are receiving a message uh, of uh, type uint8 uh, underscore t, but we actually need a message in a form of string. Uh, with uh, this for loop, uh, we are going to uh, read uh, from data and we are going to append the uh, values to our string. And finally, by using uh, web serial, we are going to print that message back to our web page and we are done with this function okay now in void setup first thing that i'm going to do i'm going to initialize serial communication not begin i made that mistake yesterday with baud rate of 9600 now i'm going to set y phi mode to y phi st sta all right now i'm going to initialize my y phi communication with y phi begin and i'm going to provide ssid and password to it all right now i'm going to use if loop and i'm going to say wi-fi wait for connect result this is function name and this function is going to block execution until we get a result about the state of our wi-fi connection and if that state it's not wl connected we are going to execute uh, this code so i'm going to print ln connection failed and i'm going to return but if our uh, wi-fi connection is uh, established uh, properly first Thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to print ln IP address. You can do all of this with printf, but it doesn't matter for now. Serial. Uh, I'm going to remove ln from here because we don't need new line after this text. We want to continue. And in here, I'm going to print Wi-Fi local IP. And this is also function. And now when our communication is established, uh, we are going to initialize web serial with web serial begin, but we have to provide address of our server object because our web serial uh, it's uh, going to uh, operate through our server and now web serial message callback we now have to provide a function that we have created uh, receive message function all right now i'm going to initialize my server server begin and finally i'm going to say msdn no no, no not msdn <laughs> dns <laughs> sorry <laughs> we are going to initialize it with name of web serial okay and in void loop i'm going to type web serial print ln 
I'm going to print hey something uncreative okay and I'm going to make a delay of let's say one second so what is happening in here first we have our includes then uh, we are creating our server and then we are creating these two variables that are going to hold credentials for our wi-fi uh, receive message function it's callback function that is going to be executed every time we send some message through our uh, web server to our microcontroller now in void setup, uh, first we are initializing serial monitor, we are setting Wi-Fi uh, mode, we are initializing uh, Wi-Fi communication, we are waiting for a result about established Wi-Fi communication and if everything is okay, we are going to uh, print our uh, local IP address, then we are going to initialize our web serial, we are going to connect uh, callback function, uh, then initialization of our server and then initialization of our MDNS. If you understand that, I'm just going to save this code, I'm going to build it. All right, wonderful. Now I'm going to upload this code to my microcontroller. Okay, everything is up and running. I'm opening my serial monitor. And I'm going to restart my microcontroller now. Ah, yes, uh, first I have to provide my SSID and password in order to connect to my local Wi-Fi. And of course, you're not going to see this part. Okay, I have provided my credentials and now I'm going to build this code again and I'm going to upload it again. Okay, uploading. Okay, serial monitor, let's see. I'm going to restart my microcontroller now. Yes, we have IP address of 192.168.0.25. Okay, so uh, what you have to do in order to access your web serial? You can type 192.168.0.25 and then forward slash web serial. So why? Uh, this is web address that we uh, received through our serial monitor and you have to ask for uh, this web page in order to get uh, to your web serial. So now I'm going to Navigate to it. You see everything works uh, perfectly. Now I'm going to type some message. I'm going to send it. And you see our message is printed to the screen. What else you can do? Uh, you can, uh, instead of providing uh, IP address, you can use MDNS. So web serial dot local and of course page web serial and you see we are back and everything works just fine we have our message printed so guys that's all for this episode i hope that you learned something new that you like this content so please like subscribe and see you around